Here it is. If you feel like standing, stand up for the main, for the start. Here we go, the Miller Main Event. Bob Hara 
Hurricane Hannah has suddenly come alive. He is in second spot. Bell on the front straightaway. Hannah coming around the right-hand turn and heading for the front straight. And the jump. We are in lap number 18. Bell in front, but Hannah now has a shot at moving up. If Bell makes a mistake, Hannah will be on him like a dog on a piece of meat. Mike Bell, 18 in front. Hannah, number 12 in second. And you've got to wonder if Bell might be getting a little tired coming back after surgery. And the white flag is coming out for Mike Tutal Bell. A lap to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Miller Supercross, Mike Bell, Team Yamaha. Would you welcome to the winner's circle the 1980 Supercross champion. He picked up a pile of points tonight. He's back on form, and when he's on form, he's tough. They call him Too Tall, Mike Bell. Say hello and congratulations. Mike, it was a great race. All right, thanks a lot, Larry. I really, I rode really hard, and I'm, I feel really good. You talked earlier uh, in the semi about the, the fact that, that you still have some stitches in your body. You're recuperating, and uh, you went out there and rode that main event like just nothing was wrong. Well, I could feel a little bit my wrist. You can see it's taped up. It was, it was starting to feel pretty sore over those jumps. My mechanic, Ron Heben, he kept saying, jump further over those jumps, because when Hannah started catching up, you know, he said, jump further. So I started to, and it paid off. I think I, I pulled a little bit on Bob towards the end. Yes, you were. And your biggest competition, though, tonight, coming from one of your teammates, Ron Lachine. Kind of a surprise? Not really. Ronnie's really tough. He, I'm sure he'll be up here plenty of times in years I, to come. I think you're right. Let's take a look at that monitor, Mike. We're going to uh, show a little bit of the action where you actually got by Lachine. And maybe you could offer us a comment on that. Are you able to position yourself on the racetrack? Well, well right here, this is when I'm already in front of Ronnie. And I don't know whether or not he gets back by me. Uh, I slipped by him in a right-hand corner. I don't think he was expecting it. I saw Barnett do that to Johnson when they had that tough race in that heat. So I thought, shoot, I'll give it a try. Was that a completely new line, one that uh, you had not been using or most of the riders had not been using? Well, yeah, and I think it really was better because I was getting a better jump. I was clearing these double jumps a little easier. Okay, there, Lachine almost went by you. Uh, yeah, at the last minute, you got back on the gas, but he looked like he had a drive on you there. A couple of times, we both had some trouble over here in these, these, uh, this double set of doubles before the mechanics area where one of us, our rear wheels would hit the, the second jump and kind of throw us down on the front coming in that turn. Well, it was just an outstanding ride, and I know for you it was an exciting ride, uh, one that you've been looking for for a while and one that you most certainly deserve. All right, thanks. Seems like it's been a long time, but once you get back up here, it all comes back seems real familiar <laughs> mike it's really good to have you in the winter circle i can't tell you how happy i am for you all right thank you larry